Hi pretty people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is part two of the Get Ready With Me Twin City Naturalista workshop. We are going to experience a lot of information, so really just sit back, relax, and tune in. You would definitely um, need to be here to, to know all the great things, but there's gonna be some information in here that I think you will find use, useful. So tune in and thanks for watching. Hey pretty people, so I am back. This is part two, day two of preparing for the Twin City Naturalistas um, workshop uh, for natural hair. And I think I forgot to explain to you a little bit about what Twin City stands for. I can't remember, but if you're new to my channel and if you've never heard of Twin City Naturalistas, it basically started um, with my best friend, Crystal Lachey. She came up with the concept because a lot of what we do between Arkansas and Texas, and sometimes even Oklahoma, but especially Arkansas and Texas because that's such a huge state line with a lot of traffic, um, that's, um, that's the Arklatex. And so um, they just kind of congeal together and um, you know, for our Kansans, a lot of times when we want to do something fun, we cross over into Texas, and it's not um, as far as a drive to get there and enjoy some things in Texas. So that's why she went with Twin City Naturalistas because we are born in Arkansas. However, she has resided or does reside on the Texas side. So it's kind of like, one of those you know it's just better to be inclusive of both states and it's really taken off pretty well our natural the natural hair group that she has has been really cool so it is sunday it's february 28th and i have not slept worth anything i don't know if i was just jittery and excited or it's because i had um food after like 8 30 last night because sometimes that really just wrecks havoc but anyways i am headed for makeup my hair is still pretty much set and um in its flat twist state because my hair stylist will take it down and do demonstrations and do different looks when we um do the demo part of the natural hair workshop so i'm really excited about that and I'm on my way to get makeup and I will be back shortly. Hey you guys, so I am here at Whole Foods. Um, considering that I'm short on time and didn't have the opportunity to really get me something made at home, I just decided to stop in to Whole Foods because it's right around the corner from my hairstylist, so it's really convenient um, on today. in here because it's so colorful it's full of a lot of the things that I like um, so I try to stay on the perimeter and get something um, natural whole and created by God even though I would love to probably have like the snacks and the popcorn I'm going to try to go to the hot bar and see what they have for breakfast myself for breakfast looks like they got a little bit of something so hey hola I'm good that's uh, Cecilia I love her she's really sweet I've been knowing her for quite some time anyways here's some options they usually have like breakfast wraps or whatever so I'm gonna pick something out and I'll be back so I'm here y'all at the Real Natural Hair Salon and I'm walking in and it looks like Amari is already doing makeup. <laughs> I'm locked out. So yeah. Hey Amari. Hey Amari. Hey Amari. Hey Amari. Hey Amari. Hey Amari. Girl, I read that text wrong. I said, pay, what is she talking about? Don't pay no attention. She getting all glammed up. She getting all glammed. So we getting excited. The background. Sports 
So I'm in the makeup chair with Amari. We're halfway done. Mm -hmm. Snapchatting? What are we doing? We're just um, making video for YouTubers. Don't be mad. It's just a brand new kind of me. Survive, y'all. Okay, everyone, we are finally here. We just touched down in Texarkana. We are at the Hampton Inn and we are getting ready. This is my finished makeup look. I didn't show you earlier, but this is it. Amari did a wonderful job with my look. She did an ombre with, a, um, with that deep purples and a pop of hot pink. So it's really cool. I think I like it. She did really good on my contour. Um, it's a very easy look. These are my eyes. So I'm so excited about just really educating people on natural hair and being the hair one of the hair models for the evening and being on panel is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be very um, educational. It's going to be inspiring. It's going to be encouraging and motivational. So you need all those things. And we're going to have fun while we do it. So I will be with you soon and I shall return. Okay, so I'm about to enter the building. We're about to get started. So I'm coming in and here we are. We still have to get set up. Yeah. Hi y'all, I'm sorry I'm filming you, but I am. <laughs> hey everybody. So this is the live. I'm live. Are you ready? So here are the hair models. Can you introduce yourself to the YouTubers? I'm Carrie D. Katie. And Sarah. Hello, I'm Kristen. Hi Kristen. Thank y'all. And of course, they over here chatting about something, but of course this is who? Hey. That's my hair, right? Yes, you're good. Hey, Kalia. Introduce yourself. Oh, my name is Alicia Davis King, and I'm the owner of Real Natural Salon, and today I'm going to do a natural hair workshop with Twin Naturalistas, and I'm so excited. And this is our other hair model. I'm banana All right. So y'all, we are in full effect. We're here. We're ready to get started. And it's gonna be a great event. And I will definitely try to get some footage and highlights of what's going on on this Sunday, February 28th, 2016. Teamwork makes the dream work. So currently we're up the space. We're getting everything ready. We have some vendors. We have the spread. Oh, here is the welcome sign. Got it going on. She acting up. That's Chastity. She always up to something. It's <laughs> my crew. The hair models. I got Mr. Tyrone with dots and photography in the building. And our guest. One I work on all the time. Um, but what I did, what I want to talk about basically is natural hair care. A lot of women that are natural have a problem with keeping moisture in the hair, and they try so many different products in the store, product junkies, you know, and you put a product on your hair, and then by the time you come home that evening, you're seeing white flakes, or it's hard, or it's not what you want. Well, our product, the moisture is in, it's absorbed into the hair, so the, the product is inside the hair. You see her hair does not have any flakes or anything. And I actually just freshened her hair up this morning. Hair breaks. Soft hair doesn't. Moisturized hair does not break because it's soft, it's pliable, it's movable, it's flexible. If it's dry, 
just like a tree out there. When it dries up, you can go hit it. The limb might break off. Our hair is the same way. So you want to make sure that your hair is moisturized. Pay attention to those saplings in here. I struggle with uh, going to exercise in the morning. Now, sometimes Samira tell you she will twist her hair. She's looking for, if she wants to change her look up, because sometimes she'll do this little bun thing and then she'll twist the back. She just puts the moisturizer on there, spray it with a little bit of water, it instantly sets the hair, and boom, she's ready for school. Well, sometimes she's lazy and she just go to bed. Well, she'll get up in the morning, put some moisturizer, and just brush it into a ponytail. Without no gel, none of that sticky mess, just the moisturizer, and it'll go back smooth, just like my hair. See how smooth this is? You just put moisturizer on it. And I'm gonna let you feel my hair in a blowout. And all I do is the moisturizer, no moisturizer. And this is the straight, healthy, natural moisturized hair. Feel that. Yeah, moisturized hair. So I like to for you to feel it, touch it, and believe it. Because if you don't feel it, touch it, believe it, you got to touch it. And you see, this is the shine that's coming from my daughter's hair. And it's not sticky. I can rub this right into my hands. Our products are water soluble. So you can rub them right into your hands. We don't waste any product. Uh, sometimes we take the product and we can oil our feet with it. You can oil your hands with it. Uh, whatever, you can put it on your face. It's not gonna hurt it because it's all organic. Now what I did on Kalia is she got hydrated on Saturday and what I did with her, gave her a hydration treatment and I put her, put her under our infrared lights. We use infrared lights to process the kit conditioner then because it uh, penetrates the hair shaft from within versus sitting under a dryer. It dries from the outside in, which takes longer. So what I did on Kalia was created the same look with uh, like I did with Samira, but I took fatter sections because if you want, some people like big hair, and if you want big hair, then you need to take bigger sections. The smaller sections are gonna create a tighter look. And instead of rolling Kalia's, I took hers and put it in a band two knot. If you don't know how to use rollers, or if the rollers are too tight for your hair, don't hesitate to put a band two knot. Like when you twist and put a roller at the end, instead of putting a roller, just take it and twirl it around. And I'm gonna show y'all how those work too. And that's my favorite thing to do, it's easy. Yeah, and see, it makes the same curl, you see, as the roller. I'm gonna show you just a minute. But this right here, you see, it created the same exact curl as the roller did. So if your hair is hydrated, it'll take on any shape. I can wrap it around that chair, it's gonna take the shape of the chair. So how you do a band two knot is you do a twist. You, I love Ms. Lois calls them bow knots. And I think the way the reason she calls them bow knots because you do them like you about to tie your shoe. You take it like this and you pinch it and then you just wrap the hair around the knot until it locks in. Miss King. Yeah. What about uh, when you uh, decide you want to go natural mm -hmm. and you have perm on your hair mm -hmm. and then what, do I have to have a big chop? No, we're going to talk about that. That's next. Okay, then this, so I'm going to take her hair down and look how easy it is to take down. No, no hard time to take down or anything. And I did her as big so we can show the big look. When you're looking on Facebook and YouTube and you see the girls with the big fluffy hair, they're just taking big sections. That's it. Okay, turn to the side for me. <laughs> big sections. Now, if you have anybody in your family that's transitioning, uh, a lot of people, I'm gonna hit on uh, what Miss Lois was talking about. A lot of people think they have to do big chop. You don't necessarily have to do the big chop. It could be a long chop, a later chop. You know, grow that hair out some more so you don't have to be in distraught when you have a little bitty afro. Because that's what happens with a lot of uh, people is that they cut all the hair off and then they frantic because they got this little bitty afro and they don't know what to do. Well, grow your hair out and wear like a bunch of roller sets or roller styles but the thing about our product is that it can hydrate that new growth so it is able to stretch out and do the different styles a lot of people want to just chop it off because they can't control 
the new growth. The new growth is out of control. It's tight, it's itching, it's tripping, it's everything. So if you have it hydrated, it's able to stretch along with the rest of the hair so you can keep growing it out. But notice her hair is nice and fluffy and see she can be ready for the runway with this. Voila, she is ready. So I'm gonna show you how to set, reset her hair. But just how quick. So if she was ready to go to work in the morning, she would be ready. All she gotta do is pop on some lipstick and she's ready. Now, by the end of the day, it depending on what temperature you in. Now this hair will swell. There's nothing that we can do, but swelling is not a bad thing, especially if it's hydrated. It's when you're natural, it's really about all about retraining your perception of hair. And that's what I have to do with a lot of my clients is basically do a brainwash. Look into this camera. You're going to have to retrain your mind. It's about what to accept with your hair. If your hair is hydrated, it's going to swell a little bit because our hair is like sponges. If you're, I went to New Orleans a couple years ago and it was pouring down raining and I was under this shed. It was pouring down raining, but I was under the shed. Do you know my hair attracted all that rain? My hair felt like I would have been in the shower. After I had sat there, because we was waiting on it to stop raining, sat there for 30 minutes, my hair sucked up all the water. When I felt my hair, it felt like I had been in the shower. You know how your hair is misty? It was sucking up the water. So I just sat there and twisted it up because it was moisture, it was getting moisture in the hair, you know. But that's what the hair does. So if it's humid outside, it's going to attract that moisture, but you want to make sure that it's soft and all you gotta do is twist it up. So if it's raining and you don't like big hair, leave it twisted if it's that kind of day. But it will change shape because that's just what our hair does. It actually is almost like a chameleon. <coughs> Whatever is going on, it's gonna try to take on that shape. But look how soft that is and fluffy, 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 fluffy. And Kalia right here, she has a YouTube video and her YouTube video, it, you really need to go on her channel. I'm gonna let her talk about that a little bit. Okay, you can turn around. Let her talk about that a little bit, but she really explains how her journey was difficult. Any type of journey is gonna be difficult, but it's how you take on that journey. Any journey could be difficult, but if you take it on like, I'm gonna master this journey, I'm not gonna let it get me, you can survive the journey. You can survive it. You can get a better outcome at the end. But if you go into it as negative Nancy, I don't like natural hair. I can't do nothing with my hair. This hair is too nappy. I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to twist it. I don't want to comb it. That's what your journey going to be. It's going to be all of that. So what you have to do is say, Lord, or whoever you praise, show me what to do with my hair. Lead me to some professionals that can help me with this. And that's why we're doing this class today is to show y'all, don't be afraid of the natural hair. You really just need moisturizer. And so here, I'm gonna let her tell you a little bit about her journey. I gotta step out just for a minute because I'm gonna drink a lot of coffee. But uh, <laughs> let her tell you about her journey. And please tell them about your YouTube video and explain okay. to them um, about how I got you and Kalia's hair, this hair is beautiful. But if you go to her YouTube video, <laughs> you will watch how her hair transformed. And when I got to her, she couldn't even comb it. She had it in about five ponytails, pent up. And I'm like, and it was dry. And all she could do was pin it up in ponytails, wasn't it? That's all you had. And you was like, this is all I can do. Well, the thing about I love about her is that I just showed her a couple of things. And she does not have to sit in my chair every two weeks. A lot of people are afraid because they think, oh, I got to sit in the salon every two weeks. When you use our product, you can use your, uh, do your hair at home. It's easy and still get a lot of different looks because it's about moisture that makes the hair more flexible and easy to do. But when I come back, I'm going to change up her hair and then we're going to, I'm going to show you how fast it can sit. But please tell them about your journey. All right. My YouTube channel, if you have a pen, is just my first name and my middle name is all one word and it's Kalia Ali. And I can spell it for you if you need me to. And it's T 
K-H-A-L-I-A-H-K-H-A-L-I-A-H and then A-L-I and it's all in word. And um, I have a few videos on there and I started YouTube probably about five years ago but I really didn't do much with it because of the time but I really wanted to do my journey. I had been trying to figure out how I wanted to put that together. But so for the new year, I did um, a journey video, but my journey pretty much began about eight years ago because I had a son and I loved his curly hair and I was interested in his hair. I did not know my hair, didn't know anything about it. I just knew perm, relaxer. And then I had watched uh, Chris Rock's Good Hair and that really changed my thinking because I was like, if that aluminum can is melting down in that chemical that they put in the perm, I don't need to be putting this on my hair. So I decided that I was gonna try to transition off so I'd get like an inch cut off. My hair was always long, but it was chemically processed. And then I decided I would just trim off an inch at a time. And I would do that and then I was like, you know what, I'm just tired of it, cut it all off. I tried to get my bestie back there to cut my hair all off and she would not do it. Cause she was like, you are not gonna be mad at me. So. I actually went to someone else and she cut my hair off and y'all I cried like I did not know what to do. I was trying to put a little flower in it and it was just this puff and I was like I don't know what to do. And I had met another friend and she showed me how to put like a little half wig on to try to get through the process and I was like I don't like wigs because they itch, they're hot, it's really not me. And then that's when I finally met Alicia and well no, before all that I had cut the hair all off, it had grew out, and it was like down to my shoulder, and I put a perm back on it. All that virgin hair, I repermed because we had family pictures, and I didn't want my hair to look nappy. And I just hadn't embraced my hair. So my journey was very difficult because I didn't know, and I really wasn't into YouTube. And you have to be careful with YouTube because there's a lot of misinformation out there. And so um, after that, I had to go through another transition. It took me about a year and a half to get all that perm off. And then I finally was free. Like I did a two strand twist and there was some perm on the end and I just chopped it off and I was finally free. And I've just been free since 2011. So, um, and then I met Alicia in 2013 and she really helped me to get my hair moisturized because it was still tangling. My hair tends to get very, very tangly because I have coils. So she really helped me embrace and see that I could do different types of coils, you know, larger ones or smaller ones, and I could do different things with my hair as long as I had the moisture. So that's and I want you, my before, I before I change the side and interrupt you, Kalita has like a 4A hair or 3C hair. It's really curly and tight, but if you look at her hair today, you would not think that she had this tight, uncontrollable hair. Her ends of her hair would actually, when I first did it, would actually clump together. And she was just like, Alicia, this is the problem I'm having. This is why she would only keep it in about five plaits to keep it from sticking together and uh, clumping together. Mm -hmm. And one thing about Kalia, she would get a treatment about every three to four months and she maintained it. She can tell you that one treatment will help her maintain her hair for four months and get a bunch of different looks. You can check out her. Facebook page and see our looks or, or her journey on YouTube. Now, I want you to walk around and let them, I want y'all, I know everybody's like, you don't want people touching your hair, but I'm giving all y'all permission to touch any of us in here. Just come up and feel it and you will feel that all of our hair feels exactly the same, but we all have different textures. Even Miss Lois's hair is, uh, we used the product on her and she has naturally white hair we don't bleach it she hates it she really wants to be a blonde uh, but y'all feel her hair that's where the if you know anybody who has the short wash and go hair eye moisturizer does not leave any build up you can wet your hair every morning and her hair is usually dry in about 30 minutes after you get to work it's dry Sometimes she wets it too much though, but yeah. <laughs> but gonna go around, let them feel your hair. I okay. want y'all to feel that and, and actually feel the difference. There's no difference between me and Kalia's hair. All our hair feels soft. That's what I was pointing earlier. Sorry, not playing in the floor, excuse me. So you have to have it. You don't have to. You can actually roll it on to get the same effect. You can roll it on to show y'all how, and she has soft, uh, curly hair is really fine and most people who have fine soft curly hair when they get it straight what happens it blows up well even as it's curly outside 
you see that her hair still has a lot of body. And if she wants to create more body, she can take the curly one and kind of wind it, or she can wrap it, or she can even roll it, and it'll take the shape. Turn it up to the side right now. Take it back. Um, she wanted to change up her hairstyle and do a bob. It was long, but we cut it in a bob so she can get a little bit more control and wear it a little bit um, straighter and longer with this. But you see here, once this is wet, it curls up. But look at all that body and shine. And it's not a relaxer. It's basically just hydration. But when you hydrate the hair, the hair uh, stretches and moves. How long does it last if she, she works out with her hair like that? How long does you work out? Um, I don't work out. I, don't work out. <laughs> I usually, when I get my hair flat iron, I don't usually work out. Oh, I'm no. just going to be honest with you. See, that's how I am. I yeah. can't work out a little bit. But I no. want to. Because I yeah. would prefer to go straight. But I do have some clients that do work out. It's really just. Because I sweat in my head. If I sweat How in my hard you sweat. Some people sweat just around a perimeter. They're able to wear their hair straight longer and work out because the sweat just gets at the base. But if you're a hard workouter, you just got to find a style that goes with that and get your hair straight when you got to go on vacation or you know you ain't going to yeah. be working out. That's usually what I do. Because a lot of people, you're not going to work out every day of your life. Some of y'all that are addicted to working out. Um, I work out twice a day. Yes, y'all. I just wanted to show the versatility that our clients get. I did a bunch of smaller bands and knots in the front to give a tighter curl. And then I twisted it. Did I twist you at the dry or did you spin it in the dry? I can't remember. <laughs> Sometimes, because I, I do so many things to her hair, sometimes I can't remember which way I started it. Um, but I think I did her twisting her wet to dry. So that's why she has a lot more shrinkage than uh, Kalia is. But now that I'm looking at it, I twisted her hair wet to dry. So you see she has more shrinkage, mm -hmm. but actually her hair is actually long. It's really long. So what I'm going to do with hers is, and I did hers yesterday, I said it yesterday, basically she's already been hydrated. We actually gave her color too, to cover up her gray. I do a lot of the <laughs> 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 Three strands. <laughs> Try to stay away from the hennas because when I was in that crowd, I know Miss Lois mentioned when you untwisted it, you start from the middle of the twist. Yes, you do. So I never heard that before, but I did that and I'm like, oh, it kind of it don't cause your curls to freeze as much right. or something. Yes. If you take it, thank you for reminding me of that. When you take it down, I'm gonna show y'all. When you take it down from the end, you rough up the end so you leave your little firm curl that's at the end. But if you take it down from the middle. All you do is basically pinch it open and you take it down. It holds the curls more better, like that. See, a lot of people unruff it at the bottom, and that's what makes you poop so quick. And they're like, I can't keep my definition. And my first question to my clients is, how did you take it down? And they're like, I took it from the ends. You want to take it from the middle. And I'm going to do it back. Um. You may need to tell them about wearing these bands all the time. Why don't you tell them? Go ahead and tell them, Sugar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Use this system, you will see that you will get great results. Like I told my mom, she just retired. She would wear wigs all the time. But I told her she got to give me six months of commitment of this product and she'll see a difference. And she's already loving it. Now she has to retrain her brain because she is a relaxer mentality person. So she feels like she needs her hair straight up, but she has spongy hair. Mm -hmm. And she's actually getting some curls in the back, and her hair is actually soft. Mm -hmm. But you have to, what a lot of people don't do is you use a product for 30 days, and then the yeah. next 30 lifestyle or characteristic may be. And what me and Miss Lois try to do in the salon is whatever your lifestyle is, we try to fit you, fit that style into your lifestyle. We don't put you into anything that you don't want or that you can't take care of. Um, a lot of my clients, first thing I ask them is what, what, what you do not want. I don't ask them what they want because a lot of them are like, I don't know. I don't know. Well, tell me what you don't want. Well, I don't want this, so I, do I have some options to give them.
And Miss Lois over here. All right, we are wrapping up. Everybody's checking out and learning more about the product. What is that, Keisha? It's been a great Hey y'all, so I'm back in my city. I traveled about two hours to be a hair model for the Twin City Naturalists event and it was a great success. So here I am back in the grocery store trying to get a few things together for the week and then I've got to head to go pick up my little boy and then be on my way home. So yeah, it's been one busy weekend. I love you, Mom. Love you. Good night. Good night. Good sleep. All right, everyone. So that concludes part two of the Twin City Naturalista Workshop. I hope that you were inspired, motivated, and that you learned something really great that um, can carry you through your journey with natural hair and whatever stage you're in you know this is not something that's for everyone but for those of you that um, really want to embrace your natural roots i think that this video definitely can give you some insight on things and please really next time we have an event try to be a part of it let us know if we can even periscope you in we would love to do that because we're going to have some more things coming up please reach out um, and check out my two lovely sisters that were featured one being the twin city naturalista you can find her on facebook her name is crystal lachey and also my beautiful hairstylist alicia davis king and she can be found at the real natural salon and i will try to put all their information in the description box it has been a very long night and i've been so busy but it was all worth it to bring this together and make it a beautiful event for all of those out there who um, are a part of the natural hair community so with that being said have a wonderful day and until next time peace abundance and blessings bye